welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Sejuani. First of just two donation decks today, just have a, a, a brief short stream on this uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, so the first deck here is one that was, like these are both viewer submitted donation decks, so these are both decks that viewers made. But this one was was um, submitted by a viewer after seeing the YouTube comments of people wanting to see some Swain Sejuani. And so built this and put together. And it looks pretty interesting. It's been a little while since we played Swain Sejuani. I thought for sure that we had played it recently, but it actually was just Lissandra Swain. We hadn't put these two together. So what the uh, cards that um, upgraded both of these, uh, like the, the, this champion combination, there we go, is Blighted Ravine and Ice Shard. Both of these. And the, the important thing here is this deals two to everything, and that includes Nexus. Aishar deals one to everything, and that includes Nexus. Because that Nexus, so they both deal a lot of non combat damage, but then also non combat damage to the enemy Nexus. And that's important for a couple of reasons. First, with Swain, you got to do a lot of non combat damage to level Swain up. But when once you have a Swain leveled up, whenever you deal non combat damage to the enemy Nexus, you get to st stun the strongest back row enemy. And that can be very important for helping you get better attacks in. But then, of course, you have Sejuani. Each time that you damage the enemy Nexus, and that can be with combat or non-combat, either way. Um, when, once you get five of them, you level up Sejuani. And then once uh, once you have your leveled up Sejuani, then the first one uh, will frostbite all enemies. Very important there. So you can see the, the, uh, real, the importance of Bladder Ravine and Ice Shard <clears throat> to help level up both of our champions. And then even when they're leveled up, they're both very good cards for us. So since we're going to be uh, having these area of effect damage spells that deal a lot of damage, uh, deal a small amount of damage to a lot of different targets, we're going to want other ways to help finish those targets off. So we're going to be playing three Ravenous Flock, two Noxian Guillotine that can kill damage units. No Stun Spider in here to go with the Flock. So the Flock's going to be, you know, it's so like we're really going to be keeping cards like Ice Shard or Blight Ravine in our opener quite a bit, even in matchups that may not seem like we, we need them as much because of their importance for leveling up the champions. <clears throat> we got Legion Grenadier in here, which again deals damage to the enemy Nexus. This can, um, again, be, be uh, 1 out of 12 to help level up um, Swain in the early game when you just play your, your 2 mana 3, 2, and it trades with something in the early game. But then later on, if you have a Grenadier in play and you go Blighter Ravine, like let's say you have your, your leveled up Swain in play, and um, and then your Blighter Ravine goes down and deals two to everything. Well, of course, that's going to be two to their Nexus, so Swain will stun something. And then if you have Legion Grenadier in play, that, that dies from the two damage, then that also does another one damage to the enemy Nexus, so that stuns another thing. And so that probably, so, uh, you know, that probably gives you, like, a really good open attack with your leveled up Swain at that point. So that's a cool little combination there. Also, we have Wolf Ride in here to help ramp us to get to our top end because uh, we do have kind of a slow, expensive top end, and we should be able to turn on Plunder a decent amount with these things that deal damage to the enemy Nexus. And then finally, we got two Demolicious in here, and I actually think that's a, a pretty good choice. So it looks weird to just kind of start with because you're like, well, we don't have very many good Demolicious targets, but it's not really about that. So playing Demolicious on turn two is something we'll have to do sometimes. And then it's just a generic two mana, two, three. And is that great? No. Is that the end of the world, though? No. You know, like a two, three trades with all the three twos. And that's perfect. You know, that's perfectly fine, even if you just play it on turn two. It's not an amazing card, but it's not bad. But really where it shines is like turn 10, right? Like that's where a lot of times when you draw your cheap cards in the late game, they're not very good. But Demolitionist is going to be amazing in the late game because in the late game, you, you will have targets for the deal one, you know, whether it's, you know, whatever, you know, it could be a babbling beer, it could be a grenadier, it could be a, a wolf rider, it could be a swain, a sejuani, you, right? You'll, you'll have something in play to be able to use your demolitionist. And then it's dealing, you know, deals one to your ally, but then it does two to the enemy nexus. So again, at that point, you like once you have like a leveled up swain or leveled up sejuani or something like that in play, you know, again, it's just another way to stun something and deal two damage to them, or it helps get you to that fifth level up for Sejuani, or it frostbites their whole team, right? Like if you have your leveled up Sejuani in play, play Demolitionist, you know, um, frostbite their whole team, now you have great attacks and so on. So I think it's a really good, a really good two drop that, you know, it's just a two of it's, it's, um, you know, not the, not the best card right away on turn two, but it can be fantastic with our champions later on in the game. 
All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and give this a try. So we're gonna go play five games in ranked with Swain Sejuani. Here we go. Okay, so we're playing against Zoe Lee Sin to start with. This is a deck that um, is a good Equinox deck, right? Like they find Equinox fairly well. And that's bad for our Leviathan. Keeping Swain, but I don't know. I could have Mulligan Swain as well. But, you know, wanted to look for our things that d dealt damage. We don't need to keep, like, Flock and Guillotine right away because we need the things that deal damage first. They're a little bit more important to have to begin with. Not a very good... I mean, obviously I'm looking like I'm getting pretty punished for keeping the Swain. Not a very good start for us with this mulligan. Might as well play the Whisper Words right now. You know, it's either that or save three spell mana. It'll cost me three mana to play Whisper Words right now. So I, I do think... They either have Nopify or Pell Cascade. They have one of those two, probably, you know, like they wait until turn two, play the Zoe. They have one of those two cards. They definitely do. I'm not sure which one of those two they have. They certainly have one of those two. All right, Blighter Ravine's nice. Good spot for Blighter Ravine here. Yeah. They're just passing. I call this constellation the jump rope. So I probably could have, you know, it saved another two life by waiting. Let's do it over there. You just have to imagine they were, were going to attack. So I really would have saved three life. I would have thought that would have taken out the spell shield, honestly. Smell that bark, fear. Yeah, I would have thought that would have taken out the spell shield. It's a perfect mountain goat. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't do good at the tournament, unfortunately. It wasn't our day. The thing I don't like about just the attack anyways, I don't, I know we get to do two overwhelm damage to them, but then we give them a gem, and I don't like giving them the gem. <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah, our Ravine already got the, already got the Sejuani level up ability that, that round. Alright, so unfortunately they didn't let me play anything, you know, unfortunately they went to open attacks. I was hoping that they'd play something I'd get to play like my Grenadier to be able to block that, but that's alright. If I was a little bit more patient with that Ravine, I could be at 16 right now, and my opponent at 17. I played a ravine at the wrong time, so it's 13 18. Fear the power you do not see. Carved from the savage cold. Victory at any cost! 
So I'm hoping that was the card they had and not Nopify. <clears throat> so y'all said that uh, you think that there's going to be new new expansion coming out in 10 days on May 5th. That'll be awesome. Yeah, Lee Sin's really, really good, but that doesn't mean I like the deck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this deck, we but it's very good. Ours, or we will make it this land cannot be conquered. As the dragon will. GG's. They left me alone. That was a mistake. Really me. So the thing is, is like the, the Death Hands don't kill either champion. But they pair really well, like if we would find Blighter Ravine or Ice Shard, they they pair really well with those kind of cards. Once I stand papers, now faces. Down to 15 with our burn deck. Can you improve perfection? I think I'm going Babbling Beer here this turn. Time for the main event. It was right on my tail. Let's boogie. They're coming high. I think this is a good block. My beautiful face. Safety disengaged. So many creative cards over there. They're at the maximum number of cards. So ordinary. So Sejuani's at two, Swain's at four. I really hope that's not regeneration or tough. Like something else, like overwhelm. That's tough. Oh man, are you kidding me? I would love elusive. I can't beat tough. <laughs> how, how do I ever beat tough? Elusive, elusive would be great. I would take elusive in a heartbeat. How do I ever kill this thing now? This victor is just gonna win this game. Tough was the worst one to see, because at least regeneration, you know, like, we could still use the two Death Sand to kill it. But tough, I, I can't beat. Alright, found our champs. Maybe Sejuani can kill it. Sure. 
<clears throat> Alright, so this is a tough decision between Sejuani and Swain. They're both good. I guess it's it's Sejuani. Because I'd like to get Swain in play, of course, before Leviathan. And, you know, I could have Death's Hand and stuff too, but I actually, you know, I don't have the mana. If I play Swain here, we only have two mana, so I wouldn't have mana for Death's Hand or anything. Alright, we're... If this works and we kill the victor, we we could be fine. That was that was good drawing that Sejuani for sure. Sejuani can save us. I played too many labs recently because labs like the the computer does something right away. <laughs> These ranked games, they just sit there. I need, I need to learn patience again. Alright, so they tried to Survival Skills protect Victor, but Survival Skills checks before the Spinning Axe, and they thought it would be after the Spinning Axe, but Survival Skills um, doesn't work like that. It's survival Skills when discarded thing happens first, and then the whole discarded card, what it does, happens second. So they did have Thermogenic Beam, like Nasher called, where they could have just Thermogenic Beamed the Sejuani to begin with. Certainly just hoping no Captain Farron, right? Like, that's Captain Farron's the card that could, that could beat us. Hopefully just more House Spiders. Yeah, we take that card. I think I'm playing Swain right now. Yeah. So this, of course, will kill the 4-1 and also stun the 3-3 Ballistic Bot. So right now they don't have a blocker for Swain. I'll turn them all into 3-3s with Elusive. All into two threes with elusive. <clears throat> they do all have augment. I have to attack with Swain right now, because otherwise the ignition does grow. Because like they all have augment, so they would all grow to be able to play that. But there we go. That'll do. Okay, let's refresh. Let's get some more patience. Karma as real. I like playing against Karma as real. Just in general. Okay, we do have the attack token turn six. I, I can see keeping Sejuani. Yeah, I think we should keep Sejuani. Sejuani does good at, you know, just killing whatever. On turn six, does a good job doing that. Coming in hot. <laughs> All 
All right, there's one. Remember the objectives. Clear it out. Use concussive palm on my two three. No, I'm not going to do it. Time for a true display of skill. This will, of course, do Nexus damage on their round. Good for set 20. Watch and learn. One spell so far. Heed my words. Breathe in, breathe out. Pain is not. All right, so two mystic shots have been used. Would be four out of five for Sedge Wani. Okay. Our spoils will rival the War Mothers. Hear that, Bristle? Varg offers a challenge. So next turn I'll have Leviathan plus three other mana. Or I could just go with the Sedge Wani, I guess. Now we'll go Leviathan. The order rewards its faithful. Lock the snow. You cannot win. Wolf Rider should be a 4 4. Shadow. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. <clears throat> Wolf Rider at 4 4 would be pretty cool. Go this way. By my hand, will Noxus rise? Yeah, because like three twos are just like the really it's just a really really common baseline, especially for two drops and everything. Like three twos are kind of everywhere, and so having your four mana card trade down with the three twos is kind of a feels bad. But all right, Leviathan Swain combo ended up getting there. Okay, we got Lucian Azir. Hopefully all of our AoE effects do... Uh, hopefully they do really well here. Uh, let's get rid of this, and I guess keep all of this. Basically, the reason to keep the guillotine is for Azir. And, honestly, just their big stuff. Because I guess like they they always have like the 5-mana 4-6 and the 6-mana 6-6. Six, six. Or like they, they just play like the large 5- uh, and 6-drops as well. Ha! 
perfect. Except for if I don't play the Grenadier, I mean, I, guess I can't guillotine like both of these right now. But I got I got damage in on both of them. That's important. Hmm. I guess I should have waited. Guess I should have waited. Yeah. All right. Greedy by me. Together, you are children of Shurima. Yeah. Very greedy by me. Okay. Lesson learned. The thing about waiting though is we would have leveled up Lucian. Because right now that's one, two, three, four. Lucian will level up. Burn away the shadows. Yeah, it's not bad. I guess I couldn't have killed the, the... I really could not have killed the Lucian, I guess. I don't know, just every... <laughs> nothing worked out well for me this game. That was... That was quite a game for them. Because the two damage the ravine does. All right, well, good, good game. Yeah, that was that was impressive. Tracker, champion, champion, another tracker, another three units attacking, and then um, plus then also uh, <laughs> a five drop. All of that on on uh, turn four. They played four units on on turn four, including a five drop. Right, four units come into play. So yeah, that was that was impressive. GG's. Kind of like before, I kind of want to keep Sejuani, but we have Babbling Bjerg. These these first three turns are going to be kind of rough, but I don't think that Bjerg or Ravine are Mulligans, and Flock is definitely not a Mulligan. If they're playing Scorched Earth, we're going to be in trouble. For how these games have played out, though, I, did, I do kind of wish we had Avalanche as well. I don't know where Avalanche would fit. But a lot of these times, like, I've needed this... I've needed this Blighted Ravine on turn 3 and not on turn 4 in these games. I'm not exactly sure where it would fit, but I kind of want an avalanche. We feast tonight, Varg. Gotta get that extra mana as soon as possible. Tear them apart. So them using yeah them using those spinning axes means they don't have those spinning axes anymore for. Uh, discarding. Bastard. You know, with their sump dredgers and rummages and all that kind of stuff, like those those created cards are very useful. Glory, cutter, excuse. 
Excuses. No, we could never cut a Sejuani. Sejuani's the best card in our deck. No, you, you would never ever cut a Sejuani. No. <laughs> we we need Sejuani for removal so much, like and just interaction and and everything. No, we we can't we can't remove Sejuani. Yeah. Remember the objectives. Clear it out. No, Demolitionist has been very good. There's nothing wrong with just playing a 2-mana 2-3 two, two, also. Like, that's... you got to have early plays as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this Ravenous Flock. I know, like, I'm considering having that Ravenous Flock kill that Guardian, but I'm just gonna hold on to it for now and kind of see what happens. Prepare the cargo. Out of my way. As always, that's the card that's the most difficult to defeat. They've, they've used one thermogenic beam so far. They, of course, know that I have the two uh, Swains in hand. Fight for your lives! Carved from the savage cold. Getting four overwhelm damage in. I don't have to risk either of these getting guillotined. Ezreal's only at three out of six. But if ever Ezreal does show up, we got the calling strike. They have to have guillotine plus mystic shot. Basically, right? Like they have to kill this Leviathan. So hopefully not. Well, that's a good sign. Okay, no guillotine. The Witcher's Claw, Three and two. All right, so there we go. A good three and two record in Masters rank with Swain Sejuani. And honestly, I think it could have been better. I think the, the first game, um, you know, just the first game of the day and everything, I played the game pretty poorly. And our opponent had a very good hand, right? You know, like they had Zoe with, uh, like, turn one Zoe with Pale Cascade, Nova Fi, back up. You know, so they played it on turn two. 
Um, but then like with the sparkle fly, which I could have played against that sparkle fly better. I made the, you know, the, the, mis the very obvious mistake of when I played my blighter ravine, I don't know. It was just, it was sloppy first, first game of the day. Um, I don't know if we would, you know, if I could have won that, but I definitely could have put myself in a lot better position. Could have made it more interesting for sure. And, um, and then, you know, the, the Lucian Azir that, you know, sometimes you get tip, tip your, uh, hat to your opponent. They had a very, very good Lucian Azir hand. Um, and it was impressive. And, um, I still could have maybe sequenced that a little bit better with my ice shard, like, you know, used it a little early, like that kind of stuff. But, um, I don't think that that would have really made a difference with that game. Probably not. That was, that was very impressive what they had. But, uh, yeah, so like that was, that was the kind of stuff it took to defeat us, um, Anytime, you know, if our opponent stumbled any any little bit or anything, our deck looked really good. And, um, yeah, I liked it quite a bit. We talked about, like, maybe being able to fit in, like, an avalanche in here. And I don't really know exactly where, because I don't think you want to take out Ice Shard or Blighter Ravine. Those both looked very good. The Plunder looked good. If you like, like, Wolf Rider, um, this could maybe be a two of. The getting get an extra mana gem is really nice, and I think that did help us with some of those games. But the second Wolf Rider never really does anything, right? Because you only need the one extra mana gem. Because by that time, um, you know, by the time you're playing this, it's like turn five, um, and then you know, like you're you're already like at your top end. So maybe that that could be the thing is like just play two Wolf Riders and could fit in an Avalanche there. Because the actual Wolf Rider body was just trading down with like two mana units with just like little three twos every time or like house spider so that's that would be that's probably like the the most cuttable card in here is the third wolf rider i would probably say um to fit in an avalanche but yeah i liked i liked uh how the list played i was i was impressed with both of our champions both of our champions and leviathan did very good um yeah i liked it i liked having all these of effect damage spell so yeah three and two in, in master's rank especially like first deck of the day here where i was playing a little sloppy um in in some of these games that's that's pretty impressive so i liked how it looked i really liked the demolitionist and the grenadier both of these two drops were awesome um i could see even playing a third demolitionist maybe instead of this avalanche um but uh yeah there we go uh, cutting Wolf Rider for Sentry? No, I, I like the. I mean, the Wolf Rider was very good. Like the the gaining an extra mana gem really does help out with these stuff, these cards. And then even just overall, we have a lot of expensive cards. Most everything's like three, four plus. Like it. So even like just getting that extra mana, so you can you can play multiple cards in a turn more often. Like it was a, a big reason why we were winning. I, I I wouldn't get rid of Wolf Rider for Sentry. All right, but anyway, that's Swain Sejuani. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the list. Um, what, else, what other kind of decks do y'all want to see um, on stream and on YouTube before the new expansion comes out? Looks like we're going to be having a new expansion in about 10 days. Uh, so, you know, before that happens, what kind of decks have we not played? What kind of like champion combinations have we not played here on, uh, on for YouTube that you want to see? Let me know in the comment section. All right, but that's all, that's all I got here for Swain Sejuani. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.